guys, this is Heidi from Scandinavian Today. On this week's episode of our cooking show, I thought to make some frozen marshmallow pops because a couple of reasons. One, it's the holiday and I wanted to give some holiday gifts out. Two, I have a bunch of marshmallows. So I thought it would be a perfect time to make a frozen marshmallow and give it a holiday spin to it. So I can't wait to show you, so let's get started. So first you want to select eight nicely shaped marshmallows and Okay, so in addition to the marshmallows, you will need one and a half cups of white chocolate, one cup of blue chocolate, sparkling sugar, and a candy snowflake for each marshmallow you're preparing, a butter knife to help spread the chocolate, water, a popsicle stick for each marshmallow you're preparing, and either a needle pin or a toothpick, and we'll be using this to make the hole in the marshmallows. And that'll be the first thing we'll be doing, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is prepare our marshmallows. So what I like to do is dip a needle pin or toothpick into a glass of water, then slide the needle pin into the center of the marshmallow, not all the way through. It's gonna be the hole for the popsicle stick and then slide it out, and let's continue working on the remaining marshmallows. Now we're ready to prepare a half a cup of white chocolate for the popsicle sticks. Now the white chocolate will be the glue to hold the popsicle stick into the marshmallows. And we wanna get this nice and creamy. Okay, so now the white chocolate is ready and next thing we're gonna start working on our popsicle sticks. All right, so now we're ready to continue working on our marshmallows. Let's first dip our popsicle stick into the melted white chocolate and then we're going to insert it into the hole that we created earlier on the marshmallow. Okay, so you can see I didn't insert it all the way through. Just maybe about three-fourths away. Now we're gonna let the white chocolate harden. That way the popsicle stick will really be secure in the marshmallow. And let's continue working on the rest of the marshmallows. Now I'm going to transfer the marshmallows into the freezer so the chocolate can set for about 10 minutes. Okay, so I just turned on the stove and I'm going to melt the chocolate wafers. And I have over a cup of these blue chocolate wafers in here. My rule of thumb is that for every eight extra large marshmallows you want to use, you need at least a cup of chocolate wafers to, in order to cover the marshmallows. Next. All right, the marshmallows have been in the freezer for about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the chocolate has set, and the popsicle sticks are nice and stiff onto the marshmallows, and we're ready to dip. So I am dipping the marshmallow into some blue chocolate, and I suggest to Move it along the side of the bowl as well to help cover the marshmallow entirely with the blue chocolate. Okay, I'm gently tapping the edge of the bowl to get the excess shaken off the marshmallow. And place the marshmallow on a waxed parchment paper. All right, and this time I'm gonna sprinkle this with a little bit of some silver sparkle. Now here I have one of the candy snowflakes that I'm gonna put in the center of the marshmallow. And let's continue. Sprinkle a little bit of 
sparkling sugar and place a pretty snowflake candy on the center of the marshmallow. And just give it a nice tap. Now we're gonna transfer over to the parchment wax paper. Sprinkle some pretty sparkling sugar. Add a pretty snowflake and give it a good tap. And sprinkle some pretty sugar on the last marshmallow. With one more pretty snowflake. Okay, so we just finished dipping our marshmallows into the blue chocolate, and as you can see, I just lifted this marshmallow pop off of the wax paper, and the chocolate has somewhat set. If you like, you can stick these in the freezer for an additional 10 more minutes before you, we continue working on the white chocolate. Okay, so here's the remaining white chocolate, and it's a cup of white chocolate that we're gonna melt, and the white chocolate will be the edging on our marshmallows. Okay, you can see the white chocolate is nice and creamy now, and we're gonna be using this as the edging for our marshmallows, and it'll give it a real nice, pretty snowy effect. So let's get started. All right, to give it a little snow cap effect, we're going to twirl our popsicle stick and add a little bit of white chocolate with a butter knife. And this will kind of give it a little bit of a snow effect to the marshmallow. Do the next one. And I suggest to add enough chocolate up to, so it goes all the way towards the popsicle stick. All right, so our marshmallow pops are finished and I'm gonna stick these in the freezer for about 10 minutes so the chocolate can harden. So I just took our frozen marshmallow pops out of the freezer. Aren't these just like absolutely adorable? I can't wait to give this to my girlfriend. So let us know if you have any frozen or holiday recipe requests. My mother is working on New Year's recipes. So if you have any New Year's recipe requests, let us know too. And have a great week. Skol, guyul, and see you later guys. Bye.